Um, the funding went towards two artificial um, small-sided pitches that were both floodlit. Um, funding also went to two uh, natural grass pitches, one which was full size and one which was junior size, and also a six changing room pavilion that would also allow the school and the community to do coach education and training. Um, the overall partner club to um, the school and to the project is Orpington Football Club, which is a charter standard community club that currently has 23 teams. And um, with the development of this project and with the support of the County FA and lots of partners within the Bromley Sports Partnership, um, we're hoping to develop to 35 um, teams after year five. It's improved massively. Uh, from what I used to know, we, all we have is an Astro, um, used to slide on it, used to get cuts, grazes, bruises, everything. And what we've got now is like playing on real grass and it just feels so much better and smoother than what it was before. We've got training sessions from football, um, goalkeeping, um, loads of clubs coming in, professional, semi-professional. Um, very, very popular. This project also received £250,000 from the whole sport plan money which was allocated to the FA. Yeah, sport England uh, invested £450 million into 46 national governing bodies. Uh, for the governing bodies to actually obtain that funding, they had to develop a whole sport plan which detailed how they would deliver um, increased participation in their sport and also programmes that actually help to develop skills in that sport as well. It's funding that comes direct from the government, so it comes from DCMS, uh, and is managed on their behalf by Sports England. In terms of the uh, facilities themselves, uh, our uh, regional guys and our teams work very closely with Sport England uh, to make sure that at the earliest possible uh, opportunity um, we can deliver multi-sport programmes rather than just football.